Ori, huh? Come. I'll tell you everything you need to know. On a planet called Pandora, daring warriors called Vault Hunters scoured the borderlands in search of treasure and power. But they weren't the only ones. Handsome Jack, CEO of Hyperion Corporation, wanted the Vault and its secrets for himself. He and his robotic legions held the planet in an iron grip. The leader of the Vault Hunters was a brave man named Roland. He rallied an army of friends and warriors to fight Jack's tyranny. Closest to him was Tina, a young orphaned explosives expert. She's a little... Uh, <laughs> look, she's completely banana sandwich, bonkers, crazy! Ah, there was I. There was Brick, who only thinks with his fists. Mordecai, a sniper who lost his beloved Bloodwing at the hands of Jack. Tor, more explosion than men. Ellie, a master mechanic. And finally, Lily, a siren gifted with incredible powers. However, she was not the only siren. Jack's daughter, Angel, used her powers to manipulate and betray the Vault Hunters. Though she turned on her father in the end, the damage was done. Jack was defeated, but at a heavy cost. Roland didn't live to see the victory his friends had earned. Sometimes a hero's reward is little more than a gunshot to the back at the hands of a coward. The ones Roland left behind still had much to do. But one little girl had some ideas for a story of her own. Once upon a time, the Vault Hunters played a game. The world is on the brink of going boom boom. This is our most desperate hour. Unless we make a stand here and now, we gonna die. Now. Roll for initiative! What's initiative? It says which order we attack in. I punched the initiative. What's going on? I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> Tina, why don't you start over? Ahem. <clears throat> Welcome, fine ladies, to your first session of the most coolest game in the world, Bunkers and Badasses! As your Bunker Master, I will be spinning today's tale of fantasy and- Wait, why the hell are we playing this kid's game? Oh, you know, maybe because- Shut the hell up, Morty! Tina? She's right, though. Shut up. While our vault hunting buddies beat the slam a jam out of that Hyperion informant downstairs, I thought we could play a game. Now, pick your characters. You got the Mechromancer, the Commando, the Siren- Siren. Dibs. My Siren's name is Brick, and she is the prettiest. Tina, why don't we just start now and figure that out later? Come on, girl, you know we gotta wait for Roland before we start. Tina, Roland's... You know Roland's not coming, right? He's not... here anymore. Yeah, he's probably running late or something. We'll just start now. So, like I said... Roll for initiative, suckers! You arrive at the docks of Flame Rock Refuge. This place used to be really nice, until the handsome sorcerer messed everything up. I say we head toward the town to investigate.
lovely day in Flame Rock Refuge. A far cry from- Wait, didn't you just say the sorcerer messed up the town? Why would things be lovely? Uh, whoops. Uh, what I meant to say is, it's eternal night, and you hear spooky music, and the whole area kind of smells like butts and dead people. This area kind of smells like butts and dead people. Suddenly you're attacked by a horde of skellymans. They start shooting at you! You get close to the entrance to Flame Rock Refuge, but suddenly... The handsome sorcerer's pet dragon appears! Surprise attack! Ho oh, ho, I wanna smack it. You try to attack the dragon, but your attacks do nothing! The dragon attacks and... Critical hit! Great, are we done now? Tina, uh, you can't start your campaign with a boss fight. Players can't win. Hmm. Touche. Okay, everybody back up. Wasn't even close. I wanted to kill something. Okay, how about a new boss? He's a skeleton. And his name is... Mr. Bony Pants 
guy? I am Mr. Bodhi Van Sky! Stay still. Did that work? This please. Road to Flame Rock Refuge is open. You should go there. Go, go, go. Oh, you've got a grenade mod. Those change the way your grenades behave. If you find the right mod, you can throw grenades and hold it on targets or spew flame or split into a bazillion tiny grenades. They're badass.
Everything looks so good. Enter the town of Flame Rock Refuge. In the distance, you see the town's scouting blimps, always alert in case of battles and stuff. What you gonna do now? Stop playing this game. Let's talk to some town folk. A grand idea. The queen hath gone missing. Maybe her bodyguard Eleanor knows where she went. If the queen doesn't return, we shall never see the sun again! Sounds like we should Maybe go find this Eleanor. About this village. Not as much knocking. Magic's no match for a well-aimed bullet. Welcome to Dr. Zed's portable cleric station. Try not to catch a stray arrow. Have fun, Storm. I am but a humble merchant, and these are my wares. Until we meet again. Uh, the bodyguard isn't here. Oh, whoops. Forgot to put her piece on the board. Blam! Girl looks like she got a problem. I punch her problems. I talk to her. In character, of course. 
Good morrow, fair maiden. Does something trouble you? The queen is missing. She went into the forest to bring the light back to the world. So where'd she go? She said something about using the tree of life to undo the curse. That must be where she's going. And so your purpose became clear. You gotta go to the forest and help the queen. since the world went dark, but the gatekeeper's a real pushover. Just tell him I sent you. Queen went into the forest. It's too dangerous to go alone. I shall accompany you. Just one second, then. Whoop! Time out! I gotta take this. This Tina. It's Mr. Torn! Tina! Put me in the game! Okay! The gatekeeper is now Mr. Torn! Woo! Well, I had to say you wow! So I'm a gatekeeper, huh? In that case. You gotta prove your bad attitude to get past me. First task, blow up the village of scouting clips with the fire weapon. Because reasons! to see approaching threats. We had no reason to do that. Fantasy! All right, that's task two. Go to the town tavern. Wait, this town doesn't have a tavern. 
It's closing time, but these idiots can't take a hint. Could you throw them out for me? Don't be afraid to get rough. Hey, baby. I'm Thanks, home. Oh, oh, come on, all right. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll never say nothing douchey again, I promise. Bitch! That is unacceptable! Chase him down! Punch him so hard he explodes! Torg is ruining your campaign. I'm having fun. Well done. You're now badass enough to survive the forest. Out of our way. All right, fair enough. Okay, Mr. Torg, I banish you to the stocks. The stocks? Awesome! Anyway, I'm called Davlin, the gatekeeper. I shall open the way to the forest. You will not survive the horrors of the forest on your own. I shall meet you inside. serve as a guide. Playing. We all know you aren't actually interested in nerdy stuff, muscle boy. What? I can't like geek stuff just because I take care of my body? Discrimination! Can we get rid of this pony already? Ladies, ladies! I have an idea. 
Adventurers, you must find the three hidden questions of true geekiness. Torg, if you can answer my nerdy questions three, then a part of this game you shall be. Night is long and full of treasures. Good Thanks time. for the gold. Be a doll and grab them, would ya? Wait, we can only bring the town crumpets? Tina, you know there are, like, other kinds of food, right? You haven't seriously been living on just crumpets for the last few years, have you? I do not understand the question. You see Sir Reginald von Bartlesby, aristocrat and riddlemeister. If you can solve one of his brain teasers, you'll get a reward. Well met, adventurers. I have a riddle for you. I am everyone and no one. Everywhere, nowhere. What do you call me? Everybody roll your insight stat to see if you can solve that riddle. I shall repeat the riddle. I am everyone and no one. Everywhere. Brick, don't slam your dice onto the board. You broke Tina's figurine. Whoops. Uh, you won! Yay! How so what that? was the answer to the riddle? I don't know.
Trendy. needed to reforge his broken blank. Sword! Correct! On to the final question! Man, you guys are being super exclusionary! Look, 
When I was a kid, boys mocked me for two reasons. My tattoos and bunkers and badasses. I suffered for my geekiness. You don't get to invade my culture just because it's cool right now. Holy stack suck! Repressed <laughs> anchor match! Adventures? What is the name of the ship that abducts the blue box? I don't, uh, I don't know. Ooh, bad luck, Torg. Looks like you're not a real geek after all. Why? I'm just interested in sci-fi and fantasy and unicorns and Why can't I be part of your game? <laughs> oh. Wow, I, uh, feel like a dick. Me too. Torg, I, I'm sorry. I, you can totally join our game. You can give out side quests in town or something. All right! You guys sure are the best. Where my mama didn't name me Mr. Torg! Wait, your first name is Mr. Torg? What's your last name? Flexington! 